Bless you for coming out, everybody. It's our first show back. First show of the new year. <laughs> Exciting to have Gwyneth Paltrow here. Oh, yeah. Love Gwyneth. Love yeah. Gwyneth. <laughs> Do you think we should be setting up a lifestyle brand? Yes. Like, thank you, madam. The, the other side of this, what would we call it? What would it be? We should call it Droop. And we only sell oh. erectile dysfunction pills. That's right. <laughs> I think a lifestyle brand could work. Is there, is there any men doing, a, doing uh, like, famous men? Brad Pitt has a skincare line. He's got a skincare line? Yeah. Has he? Yeah. Is it just called Be Brad Pitt? And that's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do think that is a big part of Brad Pitt's skin being good. Yeah. Is that it's on Brad Pitt's if, face. If, if Paul Giamatti had a skincare line, I'd sign up for that, because I'm like, OK, he's doing something. You know what I mean? Correct. Yeah. What... Also, I will say this. Paul Giamatti, phenomenal skin. Great skin. But I'd you take would... Paul Giamatti's skin over Brad Pitt's. Would but you I really? want Brad Pitt's face okay. <laughs> to put that skin on. You'd like to drape Paul Giamatti's skin over Brad Pitt's sort of facial structure. And that, that's a lifestyle brand. Yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> Who has, oh, Mark, look at Mark. He's got his hand right up there. Go for it, Mark. Yeah, hey, Gwyneth. Uh, I'm 72 years old, vibrant, handsome, sexually healthy. <laughs> and after April, I won't have anything to do. So I'd like to offer my services up to the Goop community. <laughs> I mean, you've got to, you've got to applaud his absolute gumption, <laughs> haven't you? I know. <laughs> you know, Mark, um, I have seen you in a speedo. So oh, hell oh, oh. yes. Oh. Have hell we got a yes. Can we put a photo up? Have we, look, look at Mark. <laughs> look at. I mean. He's a specimen. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on. Come talk to me after the show. Okay. okay. All right. Perfect. Thanks, Gwen. I love Paul Dano. Oh, yeah. I'm so happy he's here. So happy. He's so fa happy. He's fantastic. Yeah, in everything. In everything. In everything. That Love and Mercy movie is so good. Exceptional. Except the Fablemans, too. Is I, you like the Fablemans? You're a fan the of the Fablemans? Love the Fablemans. Have you wow. seen the Fablemans, Reg? I won't see it because I don't like the name. Right. <laughs> yeah, that, well, that's a big thing for you. It's Isn't huge. It? Aesthetics are big. What I is should... it about the Fablemans that makes you not want to see it? It's just not a good name. Mm. It's just not... <laughs> just not a good name. Yeah. You get the Spielberg Fable Man. You know, Spiel oh, is like a story, oh, Fable is like a story. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's yeah, it. yeah OK, yeah. now I get it. Yeah, yeah. OK, what... now I'll see it. <laughs> Reggie, what actor would you want to play you if you were going to direct a movie of your life? Who would you want to play you? Either be Kanye West or Will Smith. Okay. <laughs> I never thought I'd say this, but I, I actually think both are available. <laughs> M&M's has released a limited edition candy pack which features an all-female set of characters. The characters are upside down to, quote, celebrate women everywhere who are flipping the status quo. Here it is here. Look at that. I've got to say, Ruth Bader Ginsburg would be proud, wouldn't she? <laughs> She'd be proud of that. Yeah. Commentators on Fox News were not fans of the new offering from M&M's. Here they are discussing it. I think this is the kind of thing that makes <laughs> China say, like, oh, good, keep focusing on that. Yeah. Keep focusing yeah. on giving people their own color M&M's uh, <laughs> while we, you know, take over all of the mineral deposits in the entire world. <laughs> what? That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think the people who are focusing on this are the same people who would otherwise be leading the US in securing global mineral deposits. <laughs> Another commentator weighed in with a rather confusing comparison. Have a look. I want chocolate without commentary and, and coffee without Latin. Excuse me? I don't want a venti, I want a grande, I want a small, medium, or large. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Take the rest of the week off. <laughs> Fox News ended their segment saying at least Starbucks still has that hot ass mermaid as its logo. <laughs> hey, hey, James. Yes. I, I have a, qu a question. Uh, when you showed the the Starbucks logo, uh, why is why is she she has her legs spread? She's holding her legs open. I don't understand. That. No, I. 
I've never understood that. <laughs> she's just like, come well, on do in. Do you know why? She's an absolute <laughs> no, no, I think she's. I think she's going what like this. I think she's going. Anyone want a coffee? <laughs> really? I'm going to start. About, I don't know why she talked to like that. I'm going to start with. Anyone want a coffee? It, but but why are her legs? But in are the they picture? legs? But if she's a. But is she a mer? mer yes, person? she's a, a mer, mer person. person. But she's a mer person with two individual yes. fish legs. Yes. 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 And she's holding a moped. But, but it's, it couldn't be a tail, then it, it's like going up like With that. legs wide open. Yeah. <laughs> also, 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 very bold, very bold if someone says to you, hey, we're doing a photo shoot. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be, you're gonna be on every <laughs> coffee cup globally. <laughs> Do you wanna put some clothes on? <laughs> no, I'm just gonna let my hair yeah. Drape over my. <laughs> 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 to be fair, I, I, I don't think that was a photo shoot. That seems to be a drawing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> the world's sexiest names have been revealed. Any guesses? Any guesses what the world's sexiest names are? What do we think? What do you think? What? You've got to stop. <laughs> you have got. No, I'm serious. <laughs> what do you think, Reg? What's the, what's the sexiest name? Obviously, Bronwyn. Bronwyn? <laughs> Bronwyn, calms, any thoughts? Like, Dirk? Dirk? <laughs> Dirk? Dirk. 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 I am Dirk. I don't know. Dirk. I don't know when you say it like that. It's dangerous. It feels the opposite of sexy. Dirk. It really does. It my really man, does. What do man. you think, Dave? Dave, what do you reckon? Sexiest name? Bryce. Bryce. Yeah. <laughs> sexy? Charming? Yeah. Yes. I don't think Bryce is sexy. Okay. I don't want Bryce to throw me around a room. You know? I do. <laughs> I want Bryce to hold me <laughs> while we watch Notting Hill, you know? Yeah. Cece, what do you think? Sexiest name? Maybe like Cade. Cade? <laughs> Cade? Cade. Well, it's none of those, I can tell you. <laughs> the top name for women was Mary, with Rachel, Kate, Julia, and Eva tied for second. And for men, the top name was Jack, followed by James, Nick, and Ben. Now, James, Nick, and Ben. So, for anyone who doesn't know, Nick over there is the senior vice president of late night programming West Coast. Ben is our executive producer. I'm James, which means, by extension, right now, you are watching the sexiest show on late night. That's not me talking, it's science. This is true, the company determined the sexiest names using characters from erotic novels, romantic movies, and of course, this painting of Nick Bernstein. <laughs> Ian, do you know where your name, do you know where your name was on the list? Any idea? L low? Well, he wasn't too low. It was 29th Ian? between, yeah, between Carl and Jared. Carl and Jared? Mm. Those are not, none of those are sexy names. I'm sorry. <laughs> it, with Ian, Carl, and Jared, you can only play Mary, Mary, Kill. <laughs> <laughs> Lake Superior State University has released their annual list of words and phrases to be banished for the new year. And this year, the list is topped by goat, as in greatest of all time. Yeah, the phrase has been absolutely banished. And if you don't comply, prepare to feel the full wrath of Lake Superior State University. <laughs> Lake Superior, it does, it sounds like a made up party school in, a, in an American Pie movie, isn't it? <laughs> I guess to explain this to any young people watching, the list makers think the word goat is mad sus on God, whereas <laughs> alternative phrases like best or most superior are busting no cap. <laughs> <laughs> 